All right, so we're getting done with this property here. Uh, the guys are in the back picking up some piles of leaves that we got back there. And then we'll be done with this property here. You can see that they're doing some construction, still doing the construction over there. I guess again, that the, the ground leveled. So, and I, I already know that, I already saw some broken pipes and all that. So, yeah, it's always something here. But, anyways. So today, so we got this one, we got a real small one that we're fixing to go do next. And then um, I got two properties I'm gonna try to do today. They're new properties, which is pretty good, um, but they're separated. One's gonna be out there in Windermere, got another one in Kissimmee. So totally different opposites of where I'm at. So it's gonna be a lot of <laughs> driving around today, but um, it's pretty good, you know, pick, you know, something new you know everybody always asks me like do i service areas you know i always say there's always a first for everything so we're gonna try this out hopefully everything works out but also i just want to let everybody know i know we're in november so for y'all guys who are cutting hey don't be slacking right now um especially you know i know that the weather's starting to feel nicer so everybody's trying everybody's like working a lot faster than they were when it was summertime and you know i know a lot of companies are going bi-weekly and for those um starting off whatever it's a good time to shine right now because a lot of these companies are going to be going by weekly and you're going to if if you got your setup where you go weekly you know your houses when they're not showing up you're showing up to their neighbor's houses whatever and they're going to be seeing that and that's going to be a, a, a big benefit because you know this is florida and you know weeds always grow shrubs still are still growing the lawns uh, depend on what kind of grass you got and how you're watering uh determines how much how how fast the grass is still growing because the grass is still growing and you know um from far away it doesn't look like it but once you get on there you get the mower on there you know you're, you're still cutting about you know about an inch or so off so so you know for y'all be cautious with that you know don't be slacking especially right now right right before the holidays you know it's a good time to start doing the extra work um you know start pushing in the, the season annuals you know re, uh, landscaping mulching you know the thanksgiving's coming around christmas is coming around so you want to get the properties kind of mulch i know for for my instance we have a lot of these big properties a lot of them are are not mulching this year and i'm a little surprised but you know a lot of them are not mulching so we're so we're mulching not as many houses as we used to but it works out good you know we picked up uh, this year, my average has always been like around 20, 20 properties, but you know, this year, we, you know, we're almost at 40, so we almost doubled, you know, in properties that we're maintaining. Um, so yeah, so does not be slacking. It's a, you know, just, just keep doing your work, you know, keep everything trimmed, you know, um, if you got to second guess yourself, just pass the trimmer, you know, just keep everything nice and tight is right now is a good time to be, um, be, um, it, it, it will show, you know, if, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, um, you'll stand out more, should I say. You'll stand out. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready for the next property, but we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're at our third property. This is one of our newer properties here. Uh, so, I'm out here in old Windermere. So, anybody of y'all watching from Windermere, hola got a new neighbor <laughs> but so we got an issue here uh, that side also there's you see the port of carpus that kind of turned yellow we got some issues over here so I want to say it has a, they say it has a lot of clay they've been missing with the irrigation uh, we got drip lines here which that should be okay but they got a soaker there which shouldn't matter but it depends on the timing how much time they have but what I did notice when I did, when the first time I came over to look at the property, what I didn't notice was that this property over here is actually higher. Higher to have everything mounded up. So, I'm not sure, like when it rains, see that water is just gonna come here. See? Because it's kinda, see all these plants up here that are this high, our plants are down this, this low. It's a big difference there. So I don't know if that's going to, uh, if that's making the impact on, on the water. And then I don't know about their irrigation, uh, how long they have it on, whatever. So it's a lot of, a lot of things that could be a play why things don't, are not looking well. 
but that's the kind of stuff I like to try to find out. So we'll get this straightened out. Um, once I start digging these bad ones out, once I start digging these out here, then I can kind of get an idea what kind of ground it is. If it's a lot of clay, if it's a lot of, um, I don't know. So like I said, we'll find out on that. But pretty simple yard. So I'm used, I'm not, so this is sod here. This is a pro, uh, that um, Scott, that sod made by Scott. So it's a uh, Pro Vista floor tan or something like that. Um, so I'm kind of new to this, to this sod. This is a newer sod that just, that just came out. Uh, they're saying that you could actually spray Roundup on this and it wouldn't even damage the the grass. It will kill the weeds, but not the, the, the lawn. But um, I forgot how long he's had this, but it's nice and thick, I ain't gonna lie. But the back is not as thick as the front. The front's real nice and thick, but it looks really sharp. Um, the next house that we're going to, they have the same kind of grass also. And so this is something new. I'm, I'm doing a lot of studies on this, trying to figure out height, how to maintain it correctly. But it's similar to the St. Augustine grass. It is in the family of St. Augustine, but it just, um, it's, it was invented so that uh, you, it would, it's a slower grower um, and it's supposed to reduce weeds. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, so, all right. All right, so new property. Trying to get this fixed up. I like looking at see, I got that little tip right there. I gotta go cover that. Mm. And then this one here, the sun was in my eye, but I try to get that one around. And then this one, someone's in my eye. But we're getting it. We are getting it. All right. So we're in, we're in Kissimmee. So like I said, there's always a first time for everything. So to all you guys who cut out here in Kissimmee, well, hola, you new kid in town. <laughs> But uh, anyways, guys, so like I said, two new properties a day, and this one needs a lot of work. So so uh, we did the front, and then next week we're going to start working on the back. So, all right, guys.